Hi everybody and welcome to a Mail Art Monday video. This video is not really going to be relevant at the time when I'm posting it, but I didn't want to waste the footage and like not do anything with it. Um, I know it's not very December or holiday related. I did film this in the middle of November and um, I just wasn't able to get it edited and posted, but I didn't want to waste the footage, so here we are. I'm using the November Your Creative Studio Kit, and um, it had a book theme, which I thought I was going to do really well with, but once I started working, I realized that it had a lot of paper, and that's great for layering, um, but I think I was just trying to use too big of like pieces for the paper, and so I kind of struggled and didn't really love the end result, but it's done. Maybe that's why I wasn't connecting with editing the video because <laughs> I wasn't really connecting with the footage, but um, yeah, we're not wasteful. So I end up doing two envelopes and decorating two cards. The cards are actually cut from cardstock that I had from my stash. Um, and I thought they kind of matched the sort of vintage vibe. And I didn't want to use just plain uh, craft card. I don't know why, I just... I felt like I needed a base there already to sort of work with and sort of challenge myself with making um, making things work with a base that already exists instead of making my own. And I kind of wish, like looking back, I kind of wish maybe I had stuck with the plain card because I had so much paper from the kit that I really could have done really well with that. Uh, but the end, in the end, I didn't. So here we are. <laughs> um, I hope everybody is doing well and enjoying the start of the holiday season. Things are well underway here for us. We got the uh, outside of the house decorated. We got the inside of the house mostly decorated. I think we're still missing a box of decorations, but my husband swears uh, that there's nothing left in the attic even though I'm pretty sure we're missing quite a bit because the house just doesn't look decorated to me. Like not as, not as like busy as I feel like the inside of the house normally is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, but I feel like the inside of the house is much more decorated than what it is currently. So I don't know if that's an excuse to go buy more stuff, which I'm not really interested in. But the house just doesn't feel Christmassy enough for me. I don't know. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we can't decorate our Christmas tree right now because uh, I sort of did a test with the babies to see how well they would do. And I just put some gold beads around the tree and some like poinsettia flowers. And they, yeah, they're already off. So I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. And um, Mr. Han said, just decorate the top of the tree. We can at least put half of the ornaments up just because he really loves to look at the ornaments and pull them out every year and sort of reminisce, you know, why that particular ornament is meaningful. And I'm I'm just kind of fine with <laughs> not because I'm just so terrified something's going to get broken and he doesn't have to stay at home with the babies all day like I do and keep them out of things. But... Um, yeah, I've already had to put that gold bead thing around the tree like four times. I've already had to um, put the poinsettia leaves on multiple times. I've already had to take them off of the counter like twice today alone because they keep climbing up. Once was to get some peppermint, um, not peppermint, some candy canes out of the hot cocoa like area. I don't know. I'm having a brain fart right now. <laughs> I haven't had my Red Bull yet, so I'm really struggling. Uh, and then the second time was because we had some uh, ornaments that were in a different decorations box and didn't make it into the ornament box. And so I just have them hanging on the knobs of our like kitchen cabinets and they keep getting up there to want to play with them. So I'm pretty sure that if I try to put anything else on their level, they're just going to want to play with it. And I don't remember my older two boys being quite as mischievous. And when Hunter was three and Emmett was two, we moved in with uh, my mother-in-law because my husband separated from the military then. 
And we moved in with them for a few months until we could figure out, like, what our next plan was. And um, it was Christmas time when we came down there. It was the middle of December. And they had, like, four Christmas trees and decorations out of the wazoo. Like, I mean, it was insane. It was like walking into the North Pole when you walked into this house. And they never bothered it. And I just want to put like a single thing on the tree and the ba- both the babies are like honing in on it like target acquired and race to get it off as quickly as possible <laughs> oh i don't know i don't know what that means for me as a parent <laughs> but it's just like it's so frustrating cuz i love decorating for christmas and i just feel like I'm not going to be able to really enjoy it this year. And so I've st- I started putting decorations in places that I normally wouldn't, uh, like the windowsill in our kitchen and the counters in our kitchen. I normally don't decorate like in the kitchen at all. It's usually just like everywhere else because the kitchen is a very busy place. And it's a pretty small kitchen compared to how big the house is. And I just don't want to like cram any more stuff anywhere in there. So we keep it pretty minimal in there and adding the kitchen decorations it makes it look really fun and festive because we do spend so much time in there but I want to put it other places too so also I'm rambling here but just bear with me because I haven't talked to anybody today (laughs) I haven't um, found my North Pole post office sign I found this really amazing like enamel sign last year and I don't remember which shop I got it from but it was like the North Pole post office sign and I found a wonderful little letters to Santa mailbox that this sign would have gone perfectly with and I can't find the dang sign and I'm I I won't I won't even try to hide it I did cry that night when we realized it was missing because I really loved it and I only got to use it last year I think and I'm I'm it was like one of my favorite decorations because you guys know me I'm obsessed with the mail anyway so this sign was like really sweet and special and I can't find it so I'm determined that there's another box hidden somewhere that we just haven't located yet and hopefully this weekend we'll be able to find it when we have a little more time to dedicate to looking for it but yeah I don't know it's crazy guys so what do you guys do that's special during the month of December we started our advent calendar so the boys have their lego advent calendar the cat has her kitty cat treat one. I wasn't able to find one for the babies, but that's fine. But my best friend and I did advent calendars for each other, and we started that today, and I'm loving it. So I want to hear all about the fun Christmas traditions that you guys do every month. Do you do something every single year? Like, no matter what, are you starting a new tradition this year? Are you like early decorators or do you wait until, you know, after Thanksgiving? I just want to know. I have to know. I'm I'm so interested in everybody else's like traditions and plans and what they do. We usually wait until after Thanksgiving. It's usually Thanksgiving weekend to decorate. And we did do that this year. We decorated the outside of the house a week earlier though. So I was able to sort of get Christmassy a little bit early this year, but... Anyway, now that I have rambled my whole way through this, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this really terrible video (laughs) and have found some kind of inspiration and joy from listening to me ramble. That's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.